This video contains the top three best Town Hall 12 attack strategies featuring the new overgrowth spell to three star any base. So let's kick things off with a pretty strong option, the Queen Charge Hybrid in our number three spot. This is a very strong option and with the overgrowth, you can do a lot more. You're gonna start off by funneling your queen. This can specifically be baby dragons or even sneaky goblins. But you wanna make sure that you're able to get her to go in the right direction by using a super wall breaker to enter into the base. You do wanna make sure that what you're doing is using balloons to look for any seeking air mines and trying to get as deep into the base. In this case, we are going in for the town hall and the enemy CC. We can use the overgrowth spell to specifically help us in terms of getting rid of those buildings to make getting the town hall much easier and being able to secure the town hall while also taking care of the enemy cc is exactly what we want to do this is amazing value that you can get with your queen charge which is going to help you rage spells to specifically help your queen get through things like the enemy cc or high amounts of dps but for the most part once that overgrowth wears off you can allow your queen charge to kind of go on the other side clear out those buildings which makes that entire area cleared out which then allows you to set the funnel on the opposite side of the base now on the opposite side of your funnel you're going to typically run the barbarian king with the use of the siege barrack this is really important because this is going to establish enough control for you to send your hybrid in it's a really simple way to get your hybrid to go in the right direction. In some instances, you don't have to run the Siege Barrack. You can always just use the Barbarian King, but I would always recommend the Siege Barrack and the King as it provides great synergy for your hybrid. And of course, it just allows you to funnel a lot better. And of course, we can then start to send in our hybrid. Now, in a certain situation, we might go in for an Inferno Tower, but in some instances, we will wanna try and go in for the Eagle Artillery as soon as possible. This allows us to pretty much not have to worry about the global damage but also making sure that getting rid of a key defense just as important is our top priority using the early heal and early grand warn ability around the core of the base which then allows you to run a back end heal that can be used to get through something like a multi-target inferno, inferno or other splash damage you just want to make sure that you're able to top off both the miners and the hog riders as you work yourself around for the most part you should have enough funneling maybe the queen is still alive thanks to the frozen arrow and this will just allow you to absolutely clear clear through regardless of anything that moves through and of course if you are struggling with the queen charge i'd recommend watching my queen charge guide after this video so you can master this charge and master a strategy like this next we move into the recall super dragons in our number two spot it's a really strong option especially when you can lock down the back end so to start, you're going to use your queen and turning that into a queen walk with four healers. What you wanna do from there is pair this with the flame flinger to make sure that this one side is secured. You don't really have to bring super wall breaker since you're not really going to be charging. You're just trying to walk your queen. I would recommend though bringing in a poison so you can deal with an enemy CC and you don't do what I did where I use a rage and then unfortunately Unfortunately, the damage is too much and I am forced to use a recall, the recall spell, especially to save my healers. So make sure you don't make that mistake. But once you've cleared that and your flame flinger is secured, use your queen on the other side with the fifth healer to be able to move in. With the Barbarian King, you can support your Flame Flinger from being popped, especially if there is a ground expo. So you can basically expand that area and make sure that you have a much better funnel to work in, which will also help with the Queen Walk on the other side, making it much easier for you to then spam in your Super Dragons between them. With your funnel secured, you're going to be able to send in your balloons, super dragons into the base followed with the Grand Warden. In this situation, I would recommend locking down the back end, being the Ego Artillery, with the Overgrowth spell as you go in. A Rage and a Grand Warren ability once that Town Hall falls as you continue to push your way in. As for your free spells, use them over defenses such as air sweepers as they can be annoying or even air defenses if there are any left over as you're pushing into them. 
As for the rage spells, try to save them for as much as possible, such as going into the core with the super dragons so they can get some really nice value and just pushing them their way through the base. Other than this, your super dragons will easily be able to work their way through and maybe even having the super dragon from your flame flinger can very much help as well. As long as you're able to secure the back end of the base, that pretty much will allow your super dragons to get closer to that ego artillery and take it down. So it will keep a large part of them alive, which makes it so much easier for you. And you might even have all heroes up at the end of the attack. So it is a very strong option. You just need to make sure that you're setting a proper funnel and making sure that you lock out that back end with the overgrowth so you can three star quite consistently. And of course, the best Town Hall 12 attack strategy, the Queen Charge Lala with the new overgrowth spell. Pretty much, this is a really easy way to get your queen in to go in the right direction. This strategy can be incredibly difficult, but using your queen charge to go in for a particular area, especially the town hall when it's in the core, is the most ideal. As your queen is moving in, you could always use something like a battle blimp with yetis inside to lure out the CC and also clear out something like the Ego Artillery. It could get you some pretty massive value while also setting up a very solid funnel. You do wanna make sure though, that you are getting yourself in. So if you do fail with a Super Wall Breakers, you can always try again. So in some situations though, you might not be able to have enough Wall Breakers to get you into the core, but you do wanna make sure that you're cutting the other side of your funnel off for your queen so she can actually go in. So using the Barbarian King is a good choice. The Barbarian King really doesn't have any other reason other than to funnel your queen as long as he doesn't steal your healers. But for the most part, you wanna get your queen in. Now this is where I would use the Overgrowth spell to get her to go towards the core of the base. In this situation, it could have been better, but for the most part, this was the main idea removing the enemy queen and getting rid of the town hall these are all of my key objectives completely cleared which means i can now start the lava loon in peace so while your queen is securing the town hall you can send in your lava loon with a lava hound and a couple groups of balloons to work them in you should have your grand warden moving in as well with the life gem to continue to move into the base using haste spells to get to key defenses but you mainly want to make sure especially if you're only using one lava hound to use those haste spells to get to those air defenses and an early Grand Warren ability to make sure that you are able to get to those splash damage defenses. You just want to make sure that it's so much easier for you as you work through. So free spells are great against air defenses and splash damage, while the haste spells you want to use to get to both splash damage, air defenses, any other defense, you name it, you want to make sure that you're able to get through. But for the most part, you should have enough balloons to easily get through with the lava loon if you know how to use it. But of course, you will want to have minions on the back end for cleanup, which will help you not time fail and will help you three star. Now that is just a taste of some of the strategies that you can use the new overgrowth spell in. Since all of these did use healers and the queen, I would highly implore that you guys check out my queen charge guide if I haven't said enough already so you can master these attacks and really become a better player.